In this video, we're talking about how to find the linear approximation of a function at a particular point. And the linear approximation of a function is exactly what it sounds like. It's an approximation of the function we've been given that's a line. So if we wanted to find the equation of a line that most closely approximated this function at the point a equals zero, we would use this formula here to do so. So if we look at this formula, this is the formula you're always going to use for linear approximation. You'll notice that we have to find a few things. First of all, we have have to find f of a. Notice that our original function is f of x, so f of a, if a is equal to 0, would just be f of 0. In other words, we just have to plug 0 into the original function and we'll get f of 0 or f of a and we can plug that in here. We also need to find f prime of a, so first we need to find f prime by taking the derivative of the original function, then we have to plug a equals 0 into the derivative equation to find f prime of a. And then we already know that a is equal to 0, so this value here of a is going to go into the linear approximation formula for a right here. x we leave in the formula and that will remain in our final answer. So we've got to find a couple things. Let's start with this f of a here. So we're going to say f of a is going to be equal to a is 0, so that's going to be f of 0. And in order to find f of 0, we just plug 0 in for x to the original function. So here we're going to get quantity 0 plus 1 squared when we plug 0 in for x. 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 squared is just 1, so the value there is 1, and we'll plug that in for f of a. Now we need to find f prime of a, so first we'll find f prime. We've got to find the derivative of the original function. So we'll say f prime of x is going to be equal to, and now in order to take the derivative of this function, we're going to need to use chain rule. Now we could FOIL this out. Remember that this is two factors of x plus 1, or x plus 1 times x plus 1, because we're squaring this factor here of x plus 1. So we could FOIL it out and then use power rule to take the derivative, or we could just use chain rule. And remember that chain rule tells us that we leave the inside function alone, the inside function is x plus 1, while we take the derivative of the outside function. So we can sort of forget about this inside function. We want to bring the 2 out in front, and so we're going to get 2 times x plus 1. We leave that alone. And then we subtract 1 from the exponent. 2 minus 1 is 1, so we would get x plus 1 here to the first power. But then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So the inside function is x plus 1. The derivative of x plus 1 is just 1, because the derivative of x is 1. The derivative of 1 is 0, so we get 1 plus 0, or just 1. So we multiply by the derivative of the inside function, 1, and what we get then is just 2 times x plus 1. Now in order to find f prime of a, we just plug a into this function here for x. So we're going to say f prime of a is the same as f prime of 0, since a is 0. So then we plug 0 in and we get 2 times 0 plus 1. 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, so the value there is 2 and we'll plug that in for f prime of a. So now we have all the information that we need, we can go ahead and say L of x is going to be equal to f of a we know is 1 plus, from our formula here, the plus sign, f prime of a we know is 2, so we plug that in, and then we're going to multiply by x minus a. Well, we know a is 0, so we're going to get x minus 0, and then we just simplify this equation, so we'll get 1 plus 2 times x minus 0 is just x, so we get 1 plus 2 x, and this is the equation of the linear approximation of this function at the point a equals 0. We could also call this y is equal to 1 plus 2x, and if we wanted to put it in slope-intercept form, we would just switch the order of these terms and say y is equal to 2x plus 1, and we could easily graph this line since it's now in the form y equals mx plus b, but this is the line that most closely approximate this function when a is equal to 0.